Hello there! So we're going to jump into Command and Conquer Renegade. This game doesn't get as much love as it should do. So we're going to jump back into it. Is that a brave new world? Oh, look at that. It's the Hand of Nod. Ooh. Yeah, let's go. So this was the only, like, first-person shooter that Command & Conquer did, because Command & Conquer is only, like, strategy simulation game, but we are going to jump back in it because it was an awesome game. When was it released? About 2000? Oh, no. 2000... I want to say 2002, something like that. Should have checked my facts out first, shouldn't I? But for the game of its time, it was really, really good, so we're going to go on here. 2002! Woo! Just call me the best CNC fan ever. Played this game literally since its first release with Tiberian Dawn. Uh, right, single player. Let's go. Single player. The mouse is moving fast. Oh, let's do a bit of tutorial in first, shall we? Right, command training. Because we need to know how to work it again. Because it's been that long since we've played. Really has that, you know, we need... We need some guidance. Commando training. We're ready. Woohoo! That's Logan. Alright, basic Welcome movement. Back to basic havoc. My name's Logan Shepard. I'll be your guide for this refresher course. This Why, thank you. Will take you through tactical movement, weaponry usage, vehicle piloting, and base operations. You can move forward, back, strafe left, and strafe right with the movement keys. All yeah. of your controls can be customized to suit your taste via the options menu. Practice moving around, then meet me in the next section. That was pretty cool. All right, what does the help section do? All right, cool. Just gives us an overview. Fab. Right. Let's go. Meet you in the next section. Here you come in then. Here you'll learn about jumping and climbing. Ooh. The jump key makes you jump. To climb a ladder, approach the ladder and press the action key. Now it's time for a test. Climb this ladder and jump to the opposite crate. Right, so E to use the ladders. Oh, okay. I like how we don't see ourselves climbing. Space to jump. Space. Space. Ah, if you press forward too much, you can't. Right, can't jump onto that one. Am I going the right way now? No, clearly not. Ah, right, yes. I'm up here. Jump. Right, so I need to jump and then press forward. It's a bit tricky, isn't it? Right, am I in the right place or have I gone the wrong way? This feels like somewhere new. What did he tell me to do again? Can't jump that high, can I? Do, do 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 Maybe I went the wrong way. Right, oh yeah, I did go the wrong way. Went back to the old area. Right, we'll do that and then Oh falling off. Come on. This is actually quite <laughs> it's a lot harder than I remember. <laughs> right, jump up there. Right, let's go this way. Looks like you've got it. Yes. Now, let's finally. cover your Eva unit. That device Eva. Arm is called Eva. She's Eva awesome. Electronic video assistant. Yeah. The most important thing Eva does is track mission objectives. I'll activate your first mission objective. Notice Ooh, thanks. Eva announced the objective and indicated the location on your radar in the lower left hand corner with a green star. Mission objectives come in three different varieties primary, secondary, and hidden objectives. The nice. green star indicates a primary mission objective objectives of this type must be completed for mission success the data link includes a map mission data and a dynamically updated combat database you can access any data link screen by pressing the eva key which activates the most recently viewed eva page that covers it for eva just remember to refer back to your data links whenever you need tactical information during missions, the action key can be used to interact with people and equipment. You can talk to a soldier by using the action key. Ask the soldier at the exit e. to open the gate, and we'll move on. That was very, um, there were a lot of words there. Oh, I've got a gun now. Oops. Right, don't want to waste my bullets. Um, hi man. Can you open it? Standing by. Thank you. I love it. There was no, no animation there, it was just... Bang open. Ooh, weapons factory. Looks pretty cool. I like the lights. Right, let's let's run. Run to our objective. Ooh, advanced guard tower. They look different in real life. GDI soldier. Reporting in, sir. Thanks. This door requires level one security Now, I'll clearance. show you how to use Ooh. security cards. Notice Ooh. the color of this door. 
You'll need a green security card to open it. Right. Yellow doors will require yellow cards, and red doors require red cards. Very Here's intuitive. A green security card. This is the advanced guard tower. It provides automated base defenses. Now head inside and down the elevator. Sydney is waiting for you there. Sydney. Oh, look, there's the card. Fab, did I pick up the card? Yes, I did. That will help. Use the elevator, I reckon. Oh, no, we don't have to press E. Hey, oh. Havoc. Here Hi, Sydney. More I'm Pavic. Electronic video assistant. Oh, thanks. For short. There's even more. Display are two meters, one for health and one for armor. As you take damage, these meters decrease. Armor reduces the amount of damage you take. Here's an example. Watch what happens when I shoot you. Hey, is that necessary? Notice your health mm. has decreased. As it gets lower, the meter turns yellow, then red to indicate you are near death. Now it's time for power-ups. This is a health power-up. Pick it up and I'll continue. As long as you're not gonna shoot me again. Yeah, don't shoot me. Your health shoot. meter is yeah. full again. Now well, let's good. try an armor power up. Pick this one up and I'll continue. Oh, you're not going to shoot me again, are you? Now your armor meter is full, meaning your armor is completely intact. Now watch your health and armor meters again. You want to oh. cut that out? That's the last time. <laughs> Honest. Notice how your armor was Thanks. damaged, but you lost less health. Ah, okay, yes. Power -ups, so let's move on to your radar. In addition to mission objectives, your radar shows the position of infantry, vehicles, and buildings. Vehicles. Your immediate surroundings, but your overhead map provides a more strategic view. Press the map key to take a look at your overhead map. Is that going to be animals? Note the yellow circle showing my position on the radar. GDI units appear in yellow. Yeah. Nod units in red. Neutral units appear in white. Ooh, one What's neutral over on the left. Presenting the nod vehicle as it passes on the radar. Oh yeah. Notice the yellow square indicating the position of this GDI building. Actually, it's showing the position of the master control terminal, but we'll cover it later. Don't oh. want to confuse the grunt, huh? Building operations are part of another tutorial. Speaking of other tutorials, mm. let's get moving. I'll have Eva highlight your next mission objective. Back to the tour bus. I'll catch you later. Thanks. Thanks, Sydney. Uh, right, what's the map button? You didn't tell me. Ah, M. M. It is M, as expected. All right, we've got to go to the barracks by the looks of it. Right. Um, right, so we're not going this way. We're going back out. Ooh, shiny control panel. Right. Uh, back up in there. We don't have to press E. It just takes us, knows where we're going. Cool. Logan, I'm here. She likes me. Oh. Was that me saying that? I didn't get that. She shot me twice. Inside, Gunner will explain weaponry basics. Thanks. Move out of my way, man. Right, here we are. Ah, hi. Hello. Hi, Gunner. Gunner? Gunner? Hi, Avic. Gunner! Long time, pal. What you got for me? This is the infantry barracks. Thought you only have one eye then. Uh, oh, as an one arm. Building called Hand of Nod. We'll be using this infantry barracks in the firing range out back for weaponry training. Cool. The first weapon is the Vervac Commando Elite Falcon Automatic Pistol. Sounds so good. Pressing the handguns key and head out back to the firing range. All right, okay. One. Ah, and it appears. Right, can I have some health and armor? That's good. Right. There's still some targets to be destroyed. Come back when you've eliminated them all. Oh, huh, okay. All right, this way. Notice and... your targeting reticle has an outer circle and an inner dot. The outer circle shows where you're pointing the weapon. The inner dot shows where the weapon will actually hit. You may have an obstacle in the way which prevents you from targeting properly. Point the automatic pistol at any target on the range. When you have a valid target, the reticle turns red. Ooh, if you're yes. reloading or out of ammunition, the reticle turns yellow. Further information about your target is displayed near the targeting brackets. Point the weapon at any target and press primary fire. Aim for the head to maximize the damage dealt per shot. Shoot all the targets in the range and we'll cover sniper rifle training. Can I speak to him? Hi. Hi. No. Okay. Not very talkative. Right. Oh, nice. Sounds the same as in uh, Tiberian Dawn, doesn't it? Cool. Alright, that was fun. Right, I'm done. Next is the Vervac R-59 Pierce Sniper Rifle. Ooh. Select the sniper rifle by pressing the sniper weapons key. This Done weapon it. serves two functions. 
It's stunned inside, aren't it? It's freaking mess. Sound detection. Use yes. secondary fire to activate the scope. You can zoom in and out using the zoom control keys. The weapon is equipped with a directional microphone, which can pick up conversations at long ranges. Use secondary fire again to deactivate the scope. Only your automatic pistol has infinite ammunition. You need to watch ammunition for other weapons, like this sniper rifle. The remaining ammunition in your clip and the total count of remaining ammunition is shown at the bottom of your display. Another indicator of ammo loss is your targeting reticle. If it turns yellow, you are either in need of reloading or out of ammunition. Red means fire, yellow means I need ammo, gotcha. To reload a weapon, press the reload key. If Ooh. you need more ammunition, a power-up is ready near the firing range. Eliminate all targets and come back for the automatic rifle. Oh, why thank you. Oh, this one's moving, it's harder. Nice. Where's my power up? There was a power up, was there? Eh, can't see it. Wait, we reload. And that should put us back up to four in the clip. Yeah, and one. The flat. next weapon is the Corbretti AR-70 Raptor Automatic Rifle. Use the automatic weapons key to select this weapon. This is good stuff, Gunner, but when do we get to the real explosives? Eliminate the targets and then come back for more exotic weaponry. Ooh. Oops. Forgot with this one. We don't have any zoom. Hmm, nice. Done it. Next up is the Sackles A sixty six. Now we're talking automatic rocket launcher. The locust by pressing the rocket launcher key. Now you're talking. Take yeah. your time destroying all the targets. Come back in when you're done. All right. Okay. I've got a car this time. So, oh, not buggy. <laughs> How did he survive one rocket launcher attempt? Then that didn't seem fair. Let's move on to your line of work. <laughs> Commando. Nice. Primary fire to place the C4 charge on a target. Then move to a safe distance before detonating with your secondary fire. This is a lot to swallow in one sitting. You'll get it. You're a quick study. We have one last item. Come back when all targets have been destroyed. All right. Do 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 do. do. Right. Enjoy. Can I stick one directly on him? <laughs> in fact. Let's double up just to make sure. Right, we've used it all now. Right. Boom! That was cruel, but awesome. This last item is the GS2 Godson satellite targeting device. Ooh. It's known as the Ion Cannon Beacon. Ion it's Cannon Ready. Putting Ion Cannon satellites to their targets. Nod has a similar device known as a Nuclear Strike Beacon. You Boom. can guess what it's for. Select the beacon. Head out to the firing range and place it in the location designated by the objective marker on your radar. Arm and plant the ion cannon beacon by using primary fire. Arming a beacon takes a few moments, so you'll have to stay put till the arming meter has completed its sequence. Once the beacon is set, retreat to a safe distance to avoid damage from the ion cannon blast. After you're done, head in and I'll send you on your way. I mm, think that makes sense. So wait, do I have to go up? Do I have to go up? Oh, it's an actual tank this time. Oh, wait. Do I have to be this close? I should have listened more to him, shouldn't I? Is this safe? Doesn't feel safe. Oh, hello. Just about safe there, weren't I? Alright, that were cool. That's not all the weaponry you'll encounter, but these instructions should get you started. Now, I believe you're to go to the weapons factory. I'll indicate your next location on your radar. Stay safe out there, mate. Thanks for the class, Gunner. I'll see you on the field. Cheers, Gunner. Alright, let's pick up any extras. No, we don't need any refills on that. Hey, Logan. Thanks. Let's run. Follow me. I just knew you wanted me to do that. You're insane, anything, mate. 
Where are we off to? There's a tree. Oh, is that the weapons factory? Am I going in a weapons factory? Oh my gosh. I'm going in a weapons factory. This is a weapons factory. Oh, Head right. inside and hotwire will continue your instruction. Don't wait up for me. Wish I didn't have to, sir. Oh. Haha, -ha, I'm more senior than you. You called me sir. Right. Oh, hi, Hotwire. A pleasure to work with you again, Havoc. This oh, why thank you. The weapons factory controls vehicle production at your base. Nod uses a different approach. They rely on airstrips instead of weapons factories. Rubbish. When you see an empty vehicle on the battlefield, climb inside and use it to your advantage. Head outside and approach the Humvee. Okay. Why, thank you. Ooh, Humvee. The, door of the, the first person in the vehicle is the driver. Next is the gunner is the gunner others are passengers if the vehicle carries other if you are the only person in the vehicle you are simultaneously driving and gunning aim the machine gun with the targeting reticle and drive with the movement keys press forward to accelerate and backward to brake or reverse take the humvee around the entire track to complete the next objective follow uh, the blue stars on your oops. radar why is that blue star? Point before parking the vehicle. Come back inside the factory and we'll continue. Fantastic. This is cool, this. Meow. Brake. Yep, we can brake. That's good. Always good to learn how to brake. Right, now I need to park the vehicle. What, outside again? I'll just park it right here. On the front. Oh, I can park it inside. Cool. E to get out, I'm guessing. Yeah, right. Can I go in this way? Ooh. Keep my Humvee safe for me. I did it. I did it. Is the medium tank. This it blew is it up. Vehicle, you blew it up. Turns tighter and has more armor, but is slower than wheeled vehicles. The okay. controls are very similar. Take it for a spin around the track, then meet up with Logan for the next lesson. I can't believe you blew up the Tom V. Anyway, moving on. Must have loads of money to be able to afford to just you blow everything up. Infantry units with some vehicles. Here are some targets for you to practice squishing. Ooh. Ah. Can I shoot them as well? I can. Oh, I've not squished anyone yet, though. Right. Stop shooting them. I thought I had no, nothing left. No dude dudes left. Because it came up zero, but clearly I do. Let's squish him. Yeah. Squish, squish, squish. Squishy. Squishy again. Your ammunition is full. Another squishy? Squishy. Thanks. Are you going to blow up this one if I put it back in the weapons factory? This is too expensive to just blow up. Right, look after it. Look after it. Look after it. You told me to go and see Logan, didn't you? That's why you gave me that look. At least you're not blowing that one up. Right. Follow you, Tiberium Refinery. Oh, they spawn at Tiberium here. This is always the thing. Is it Tiberian or Tiberium? It's Tiberium in Renegade. Tiberium Factory. It's the one question about um, Command and Conquer. Oh, wait. Did that open then? No. Dude. Oh, the door's there. This is the Tiberium Refinery. Thank Dr. you. Dr. Mobius will explain its operation and <gasps> come back when The you're done. Dr. Mobius? Where is he? Moby. Moby. Moby, where are you? Dr. Moby. That was that medium tank blowing up, wasn't it? She promised me. Welcome, welcome. Hi. Ignacio Mobius. Ignacio. This is the Tiberium Refinery, a processing center for Tiberium harvests. Mm. Base operations and production rely upon the harvesting of Tiberium. They do. But Tiberium is the nice primary batch. source of income for your base. Why, thank Same you. Is true for Nod. 
Tiberium itself is still a mystery I have yet to solve, but we do know it collects valuable minerals. Looks like you might be a dentist. Area. Suffice to say, Tiberium is valuable. The important thing to know is it is also harmful to human tissue. <laughs> Stay away from it or expect damage. Go yes, inside okay. and meet with the officer. He will continue your tour of the facilities. Why, thank you. But I might take this gun with me. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, and this one. You don't need these guns, do you, doctor? You're a doctor, not a weapons person. Thanks, Doc. He looks just as old in real life. Our next stop is I'm ready. Power plant. Ooh. Me. Power plant. Ooh. Running, running through the base. Is this the power plant? That's a power plant. This is the power plant. Head inside for the briefing. Meet me here when you're done. All right, Logie. Logie or Yogi? Oh, I love these panels. Can I not press them a bit? No. Okay, never mind. I'll go down. I'll go down. Yo! My name is Elena Petrova. Hi, this Elena Petrova. Field of work, so oh, I'm going okay. to make this quick. All right. This is the power plant. It supplies mm. power to other buildings. Looks Destroying good. Destroying a power plant will shut down other structures. Watch oh, that's what good. happens when the power plant is disabled. Some of the affected buildings will have slower operation and production. Others shut off entirely. Keep in mind, not every building requires power to function. We are finished. Meet up with your guide outside. That's cool. Can I shut down the power plant again? Oops. Is it safe to shoot in here? Ah, if you use all your bullets, then just trying to shoot again reloads it, which is good to know. I'm training myself as well. Lo Logie Bear, where are you? Oh, you're outside this one. Logie Bear, I'm here. Oops, where's he gone? Oh. My job's done, sir. Yes. All right, okay. What does that mean for me? Am I just send here? What do I do now? Hello? Captain Parker, oh. I'm Lieutenant Moss. Oh, Moss. The effects of building destruction. Let's start a simulated Nod assault. Okay. This sounds cool. Where are they? Where are the Noddies? I can hear the Noddies. They're above my head. Do you want me to shoot them? Am I just watching? Let's continue. Destroying a building from the exterior is difficult, especially when the building is under repair. Notice the GDI engineer working on the master control terminal inside. Ooh. What? Master control terminal. Very nice. Part of a building. This is what happens when a building is destroyed. Once a building is destroyed, it can no longer be repaired. You can complete the tutorial by eliminating the Nod officers who are coordinating reinforcements. You'll recognize them when you see them, but your reticle information will tell you for sure. If you need more weaponry or armor, you will find power-ups throughout the base. Eliminate the Nod officers. Where are you, Noddies? Ah, here they are. I can see one. Yeah, take that, you Noddy. Who's shooting me? Ah, stop shooting me! Who's that? Is that Mobius? Where are you? Where are you, Noddies? Yeah, take that. Yeah! Mission complete, but there's still this dude. There was still that dude, but that was pretty cool. So that's the tutorial. Right, I feel like we're trained again and ready to go into Command and Conquer Renegade. Forgotten in its 21st year, but we are back here to revive it. So, hope you liked that. Uh, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more Command and Conquer Renegade videos. And we shall see you again shortly for our first real mission. See you later. Bye.